Hi everyone, I'm Brian from Sikonia Original and today I'll be sharing about six different kinds of watch straps. A good watch strap plays a huge role in your watch's comfort and style. A rough nylon strap can have friction against your skin and leave marks on your wrist. On the other hand, a smooth and cushioned leather strap will wrap around your wrist nicely, holding your watch in place. The first watch strap I'm sharing with you guys is one I'm sure many of you are familiar with, leather strap. I have a few laid in front of me right now. Before that, let me share with you about how you tell the quality of a strap. We have a full grain leather, top grain leather, split grain, genuine leather. Each grade represents different attributes of leather and can contribute to durability, wear resistance and comfort. Both full grain and top grain leathers are made from the best part of the hide. Full grain leather is less processed including natural scarring and blemishes. Full grain leather absorbs the moisture and oil and over time will develop a wonderful patina that looks better as the item ages. Full grain leather is what we use on all our Sakoni straps and on the next tier we have the top grain leather which is buff, sanded and pigmented to provide a more uniform and smoother look to the end product. Water and oils do not absorb into the top grain leather and can be wiped away since the leather natural pores have been sealed during the colouring process. Split grain leather actually doesn't contain any of the height's natural markings or grain. The most common split grain leather is suede, which is used to make shoes, handbags, jackets and other goods where a soft and pillable product is preferred. Genuine leather is made from the very bottom of the card. It is heavily processed and contains none of the height's original natural grain. Although technically leather, it isn't durable or beautiful as, or as high quality as other leather and is considered as by watch experts in the industry to be a low quality product. Leather is a symbol of class. It ages with time and gets better when you wear it. It creases and molds itself to your wrist. This process of wear should add character to your timepiece and we suggest looking for full or top grain leather for the best experience wearing a watch. Moving on to Sikoni's mesh strap. Right here is Sikoni's stainless steel mesh strap and a key difference between leather and mesh is how it styles. Here, Ferline has paired classic Tidal Moon face with a smooth brown leather strap and rose gold mesh strap. Each provides her formal and casual outfits with a distinct look that significantly changes the look of the timepiece. Our Sikoni 2021 lookbook for ladies also features a few casual outfits to pair with mesh straps. Mesh bracelets became popular in the 1970s when paired with dive watches and used by professional divers. The Omega Seamaster was just one of those watches. Due to its high resistance to rust, mesh straps are also very versatile and excellent for everyday wear. The mesh watch band is made of stainless steel wire and is woven intricately to create distinct styles that will add to its similarly coloured jewellery wear. Some popular brands that use mesh straps are B Baffling Super Ocean Heritage, Oliver Burton and Not Green Native Model. For our next strap, we have the rubber strap, which is highly durable, comfortable and easy to clean. You don't have to worry about sweat stains or moisture affecting its colour or texture. It is supple and moves easily to the wrist. Rubber straps are more casual than other brands. Formal wears and some semi-formal outfits don't typically match well with them. However, the comfort you get from wearing a rubber strap and the low cost of rubber has led to some strap manufacturers creating a rubber plus leather mix strap where the bottom half is rubber and the top half is leather. So this strap looks formal and feels comfortable, the best of both worlds. Our next contender is one that many will underestimate, nylon. One of the better materials for wristwatch straps, particularly in warmer climates or summer. The reason for that is nylon's brilliant quality, such as durability, practicality, timeless design and water resistance. It is also much more breathable than most other materials. They are easy to clean and quick to dry after water contact. These straps are extremely tough and can survive almost anything you throw at it. With the ease and low cost of manufacturing the item, the range of permutations you get in colour, thickness, material composition varies widely, giving you a plethora of options for all your timepieces. Another summer alternative is a NATO strap, a specific type of nylon strap. NATO strap was developed by the British Ministry of Defence and its name was derived from the stock number. The strap design is perfect for rugged conditions and it's a one-piece strap that slides underneath the case, preventing the skin from ever touching the metal. They consist of a buckle, three keepers and a nylon webbing. This webbing has a long end and a short end, with the long end wrapping around your wrist and the short securing the timepiece to the longer strap. 
This strap ensures an all-round texture wear on your wrist and helps absorb moisture on a hot day. Furthermore, it creates an additional wear protection where the strap will stay on the wrist even if the spring bar pops. The real beauty of the NATO strap lies in its simplicity. It is inexpensive, infinitely adjustable, available in dozens of colours and patterns, and is extremely comfortable on the wrist. Metal bracelets are one of the most popular types of watch straps. A large selection of them are available with differences in size of links, shapes, buckle, colour, strap size. One of the most popular materials for watch straps is this material. They come in many style finishes and even colours, so you can find them in different grades of metal as well. Stainless steel, precious metals, white gold, platinum. The Oyster Bracelet is a quintessential metal bracelet. Rolex has been using some form of oyster bracelet since the late 1930s, with a patent coming in the late 1940s. A large portion of watch bracelet history can be told through the story of Grey Ferris, a company that began in 20, 1835 selling pocket watcher chains. Rolex was an early client, and after it was founded, Rolex commissioned it to make the first oyster bracelets. In the, in the 40s, they started supplying Patek Philippe and other luxury watch brands with these bracelets as well. As the name suggests, Rolex designed the oyster bracelet for diving and water sports, and as such, it looks best on sports washers. This list of six watch straps are by no means exhaustive. There are thousands of options ranging from a $2 nylon strap to a $1,000 alligator strap, and we are very confident you'll find something that suits your usage and style. With 11 strap options with our Tiger Moon face, we try to cover as many tastes and preferences as possible with options like a dark blue crocodile textured strap. So right now on my table, I have a few watch straps. I have the blue one, I have the black one, and I have two different, a dark brown and light brown crocodile textured Tiger Moon face strap. So again, if you're interested in seeing how any of these straps pair with our watch, we have a lookbook for men, one for women. So check out the link below and thank you.